Banks are being warned by the government that they must protect free speech. The dramatic move comes amid an escalating row over the blacklisting of customers who hold controversial political views. The Chancellor Jeremy Hunt is understood to be deeply concerned that overzealous lenders are closing down accounts because they disagree with their customers' opinions. The war of words was sparked when prominent Brexiteer Nigel Farage revealed his long-standing bank had shut his accounts without explanation, while a vicar was dropped by another lender for questioning why their branches were displaying pride flags. Uh, I mean, the, the, the worrying thing about this, it, Nigel Farage, of course, highlighted it towards the end of last week, saying that after 40 years, he, his accounts were opened in 1980, mm -hmm. suddenly... Uh, he was uh, ruled uh, not somebody they wanted as, as a customer. I mean, it's, it's well known, it's Coots. Yeah. Uh, so it's not a high street bank. He then mm. went to eight other banks, all of whom said no. Now, these... Uh, oh, closing downs, these shutting operations, are only happening to uh, right-wingers. They're not ha happening to anybody in the left. So what the bank says, well, you know, you're a, a politically exposed person. Uh, and uh, that's something to do with the fact that you might have had dealings with foreigners and you may be exposed to dodgy money lending, all, so all sorts Allegedly. of... Allegedly. That's, that's their excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it only, it, they, it only happens to so, yeah, right-wingers. Uh, and uh, so, th you know, this, this is a, a very sinister development uh, that must be stopped. It must be, at the very least, at the very least... Banks. The, so Jeremy Hunt today really annoyed me. He said, "I'm very deeply concerned." He's not uh, deeply he, but, he, concerned. but he's not going to do no, it. Check it out. Check it out. He promised action within weeks. How about action oh, that's, today? That's great, today, isn't it? Today. So, so well, and, and the main thing that, that must immediately happen, in my view, is that banks must be compulsorily told to explain why they're closing so, down people's accounts because they're not doing that at the moment. You can't just cancel someone. In that's the way what they, they do. do. It is appalling. If yeah. you don't have a bank account, you can't basically exactly. exist do anything. here. No. Um, and for Jeremy Hunt to say he's deeply concerned, acting as if this is complete news to him, this has been going he's on got, yeah. for several years. Yeah. And you know this. I do. Uh, so I and was... I know this. And I also know that Richard Tice, the leader of the Reform Party, wrote to Andrew Bailey about this. Two years Two ago. Two years ago. Did he get a reply? No. No. So I, Utter disdain I, I will, from the I, Bank I of have England had experience this. of this. As you know, uh, when we were in the Brexit party, many of my colleagues, Christina Jordan, Henrik, Overgaard Nielsen and myself, we all got letters from the bank saying you're politically Ooh. exposed. I then had to prove through a very complicated set of forms and I had to go backwards and forwards with the bank managers to say, look, I'm not politically... You know, they felt I was politically exposed. And when they, they say exposed, do they mean uh, exposed to blackmail? No, so, what, so, what, 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 well, what do they so, mean? So, they're feed so I, I think it's really wrong. They, they're the political arbiters, the moral arbiters of how we're allowed to think. They didn't like... Basically, they're a bunch of Remainers who didn't like what we were doing. And what's worse, the Brexit party itself lost its account. So it was only Richard Tice's quick thinking that got us another bank account because otherwise the political party would have actually sunk as well. So essentially the banks are controlling the political narrative. And, and, yeah. no, and, by and the way, was, by the way, was this different the... banks, not uh, all the same was, banks? No, different banks. Yeah, yeah, it's it's Farage went to eight other banks, they all said no. And by the way, to just prove how ridiculous this is, how they're picking on people from the right, uh, Dominic Lawson today wrote about okay. his daughter, Lawson. Dominica, who's got Down syndrome. And uh, Barclays wouldn't give her a bank account because she's a politically exposed person. I mean, this is it's a nonsense. You ask, what does it mean? And essentially what they would say is, oh, it means that you could be subject to some undue influence. Yeah, you know, you, yeah. some foreign money might come your way. I mean, this is a complete nonsense. The rules around political donations, we all know, mm -hmm. are incredibly strict. And... People on the right of politics are no more likely to be taking so-called dodgy money than anybody on other sides I mean, of the politics. Yeah. And, and, and part of this, and this is really awful, traces back to Sir Chris Bryant abusing his position, in my opinion, to use parliamentary privilege mm -hmm. to accuse Nigel Farage 
of having taking Russian money. Because the Russian more than half a million quid. It wasn't true, but because he was using parliamentary privilege, that meant there was no comeback. So why doesn't Chris Bryant actually accuse Nigel outside the House of well, Parliament? Why do you think? Because of course he <laughs> wouldn't be able to substantiate it. So you're right, he abused parliamentary uh, and that position has and real privilege. Consequences. Of course the, it does. The, the, the thing is, the rules have to apply across the board, I think. So if it, you know, no matter what your political aspirations are, everybody has the right to have a bank account. There's more than one million people in the UK who account as unbanked, whether that's they've been made bankrupt or they just don't have access to a bank account, which means that you can't live, you can't earn money, you can't do anything. So the rules have to be across mm. the board. However unpalatable you are, you know, either everybody gets a bank account or we pick and choose. And, also, and I just don't think we like, nobody has the right yeah. to pick and choose. And like you so right sorry, like you so rightly said, Isabel, whether you're on the left or whether you're on the, you're the, on the right or whether you are in the centre, if you're politically exposed, you're politically exposed. You can launder money or do whatever, whatever side of the yeah. spectrum you're on. But so I, I just think it's all rubbish that they're just using e this. Everybody, everybody should have well, the right to have a bank. Of course, it is. Of course it is. It's you nothing know, new with you being politically perfectly, exposed, it's just no, rubbish. You know it's, perfectly it's well that Coots will have thought, oh yeah, we don't want Nigel Farage coming into our you know, Mayfair branch yeah. and upsetting our other clients. You know exactly that that's, exactly. that's where they're coming from. It's, it's pure or snobbery. I actually think they're much more worried about organisations like Hope Not Hate and all of that launching some kind of lobbying campaign, well, you know, that. some kind but of negative publicity campaign. But let's campaign. bear in mind that Coots is owned by NatWest, which was bailed out. Yes, so by the taxpayer. By the taxpayer, yeah. which I think, you know, really... But you see, also, I wonder about the political narrative here. Of course, they didn't... The banks didn't want Brexit. The banks wanted no. the ability to move money. They wanted London to remain the financial capital. So they were against basically what we stood mm. for. And look at what PayPal got up to. I mean, apart from yeah. uh, having a go at Toby Young and the Free Speech Union, uh, <laughs> they, uh, they, they cancelled uh, Sharon Davis because she had the temerity to suggest that perhaps oh, men, men shouldn't take awful. part in I mean... female sports. <laughs>